welcome back to my channel today i would like to show you how i use the colonel carbon pro to my chanel lambskin leather handbag and to my louis vuitton deville mini in the monogram print with the vachetta leather trim now this video is not sponsored by any means i've been using this product since 2017 and i can attest to it that it surely does work from my last video, I briefly mentioned that I sprayed my Speedy B25 with this product prior to our trip to Niagara Falls as I wanted to test this product. To this day, my Speedy B25 is still looking like brand new. Now shall we start our adventure? Oh yes, before I forget, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that subscribe button located at the bottom right corner of your screen i do upload videos two to three times a week and the days vary each week and of course i don't want you to miss out so please click that bell to get notified okay let's start with this chanel jumbo classic in lambskin leather as always i want to show you the before spraying this handbag look and later on once finished the after spraying handbag look in this way you can see that there's no difference and no discoloration on the letter after using this product ladies and gentlemen this is just a reminder that is highly recommended to use this product in a well ventilated area which in my case i am doing this outside my house Now immediately after done spraying, make sure to wipe down the hardware and let the handbag air out around 5 minutes uh, before buffing the leather. Now I will be shortly demonstrating you guys how I buff my handbags. Now using a different set of clean dry cloth, not the one that was just used for the hardware, gently buff the leather. This process is almost the same as when you're buffing your leather shoes but in a very very gentle way. Now notice that I'm buffing the leather through the stitching lines. This is because I want to make sure that there are no residues left in between them. Buffing the leather helps even out the excess oil from the product. Similarly, when you're applying a moisturizer on your face or a lotion on your skin. Now, what happens if you skip this process? Or let's put it this way. What happens to your car? if you apply a wax but skipping the buffing process i believe you know where i'm going with this analogy
Okay, she's almost done and let's take a closer look. She looks great. And again, there's no discoloration or difference of the leather before we sprayed this beauty. Okay, there you have it. She looks fantastic and well protected. Now let's hop in to my Louis Vuitton Deville Mini. She's been waiting for her turn and we've got company. Please don't mind him. Well, I meant to say my husband wants to join our party.
So I have one question of the day. I was asked how often should we be using this product? My answer is that it depends how often you're using your handbags as it varies from a once in a while use to an everyday handbag. Now, if I were to use the same handbag for the entire month, I would probably spray my handbag twice a month. Now, if I were to only use one specific handbag once every three months or so, I would use this product probably two to three times each year. Again, this is just my suggestion. Okay, there you have it. Please let me know what your thoughts are regarding this product or any questions or concerns that you might have and I will be happy to respond back as soon as I can. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye!